the previous video. episode 61 or maybe episode 2 of the final season of attack on titan we're gonna call it 61 my gosh guys man like that first episode was intense it, it really was so okay i actually did look up some some stuff about the last season because i, I admittedly i was a little bit lost in the first season um there was some stuff that i did realize um later on but i know so there was some things that i had to go back and i didn't rewatch the last season which i probably should have but just I just went back and looked up some stuff, so I do remember. So now, like the like I, before, I was wondering. I was like, why are they trying to find a new successor for like the Beast Titan and for the Armor Titan? And I was just like, I, like that was weird to me. That's I was like surprised when they when they say like that guy, the blind headed dude. He was like, you're gonna be the successor of the for, for the Beast Titan. I was like, I was, is it maybe when he like you know gets old and die, he'll be the new Beast Titan? I'm an idiot. I remember, like, in the previous season, they even stated that, like, I think once you become one of the um, the chosen titans or whatever, like, once you become one of them, you have 13 years to live. So that I, that was crazy. I, that even begs the question. That means that Aaron... So, okay, it looks like this episode, that last episode, takes place four years after the, um, the events from the first season of Attack on... Well, not first season, from the... The most previous season of Attack on Titan. And I'm sure you guys will let me know this probably on the previous video in the comments. So sorry if um you've seen this video and you already commented it. Don't think I'm being I'm an idiot and I ignored your comments. It's just that like, you know, I recorded in advance, so I haven't had a chance to comment on them yet. <clears throat> but so from what I gather, it's been four years. Which is like they they even said it. It's like a, it's a it's been a four year war. And I think even um Zeke, he even says that, uh, he even says that, like, you know, the reason why we're in this war in the first place is because we failed in our mission to retrieve the founding titan, which I guess, I guess what they meant was maybe Aaron, I guess, or Ymir, I, I don't know how that works, I, I, again, no spoilers, but point being, um, Reiner and, um, and Zeke, they failed in their mission, which I'm, su I suppose this, it was the same mission that Bertolt had, that Annie had, you know, but, you know, they failed because, you know, Aaron's squad just, they put them down, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so I'm like, so I'm guessing, so after the event where Aaron's staring out to the sea, you know, he's like, hey, beyond that sea, there's a whole bunch of enemies there. This is four years after that. That's what I'm assuming because I mean it has to be because you know Reiner looks older. So I mean they were all like kids. Like I think they were like Reiner and them were like sixteen, seventeen years old. So four years later, they're on like their early twenties. You know what I mean? So so I know that was one thing that was confusing me before as the time skip. So i think I do think it is four years later. I don't know that for sure, but I I I'm I I'm it's I think at this point it's kinda um evidence. It's it's obvious. That it's four years later <laughs> because they didn't even sit in the first episode so i think i'm just gonna say it's four years later now i know for the um the, those kids and they were like vying for who was going to be the chosen successor the chosen warrior of the um armor titan because reiner's time is going to be up soon um now i'm not sure how long he's been the armor titan for but however long he's been the armor titan at four years to that because this is the four-year time skip. So that means that his time must be almost up. Because actually, I think what, nine... Oh, actually, because I believe they said nine years ago. Nine years ago is when um when they first attacked um Parody Island, right? When they first attacked the wall. When, when Reiner first bust into the wall, that was nine years ago, right? 
add on to that four years later, that's 13 years. So does that mean that Ryan is about to die? You know? And actually, that's even if he's um not already dead because he took a hell of a shot like um to protect Zeke from those um those missiles, which I thought that those things got fired back, but apparently, apparently they just got like you know they're all they just decided to fire on him when he fired on them. So I thought at first I thought they got reflected back back at him. I was like, wait a minute, who threw them all back at him? I was like, what? But okay, but the kids like the the girl um I forget her name, you know the cocky little thing. She's like, you know, like, I'm going to be the next successor to the, uh, the armor titan. Like, cause you know, like I'm, y'all don't hold, y'all don't hold a candle to me. You know, I'm, I'm better, <laughs> you know, and not just because I'm smarter, I'm stronger just because I'm willing to do what it takes. Like, you know, which, I mean, it seems like she's got the attitude for it. So we'll, we'll see how, how that goes, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm definitely wanting to see where things go from here. So you know what, guys? I don't want to keep talking. I am excited. Let's go ahead and dive into this episode. Let's go. Disclaimer, this is not a substitute for the actual show, but rather a reaction. So please support the original creators by watching the show first, then come back for my reaction. Thank you. Now, let's get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep the audio kind of low, guys. Okay, wow. Make that dude's hair black and give him a mustache. He looks like Hitler. Magato, Korea, do you cut that? Gensuido, you you sono talking a kitanodis. Jinduga, Kyojin no chikara o koeru. Yo, damn. Wow, interesting. The Wonder Boy. まあ、まあ、あと隊長のおっしゃる通り、マールは今後通常兵器の開発に力を注ぐべきです。しかし、それまで諸外国が黙っているでしょうか。今我々に必要なのは軍備再編までの時間。それには一刻も早く。He's actually um being smart about this too to be honest. お前の任期はあと1年足らずだったな。ええ、コルトが私の獣の能力を全て引き継げるのかはとても。Oh, Oh, <laughs> his former son. I think we knew that, right? Midnight Train. Hey, guys, I'm not sure how y'all feel about that intro, but I love it. Okay, right, so he... Yeah, ジークさんの獣の能力は歴代とは全く違う。まるで話に聞く始祖の巨人だ。どうして特別なんでしょう。王家の血を引いているわけでもないのに。さあ、でしょう。結局俺が死ぬまでわからずじまいだろう。Right
Yes, yes, I know he knows that. I know he knows that. <laughs> Look, even Reiner in a cold sweat thinking about those blades. <laughs> Oh, that's 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 him. That's good. Damn. Oh, that was shade. Oh, that's what? Sorry to pause it, guys. I'm sorry. This was this one scene gave me a, a good bit of information to, to digest. <laughs> so I'm trying to. So is Yumiri dead? Did, did he inherit her Titan? I don't think he did, right? Because I'm trying to remember the two Titans that showed up in the last episode. It was the Jaw Titan. And it was um the cart titan. The jaw titan. Cause I mean I remember when Yumi transferred into a titan, I mean she did have some pretty big jaws, but I think she looked more like a gremlin. Those were con yeah, the way he his transformation and her transformation were com two completely they were very different. But I'm like, does the transformation differ from person to person? Because is he her titan now? Like cause he has her memories now, right? How did he? How would? Why would he have her memories? Did it kill her? Dude, I hope not. That's gonna suck. I like you, Mir. Right, I'm sorry, guys, for pausing. We're gonna resume. Oh, let's pick. Oh, picks a chick. ルディア人はどうなるんだろうな。うん。あ、ぐっ<笑><笑><笑> ユミルの民は殺しましょう。そうですね。くそ。くそ。くそ。俺は動こう。いや、ルーラックス。<laughs> I think that kid, more than anybody, is going to be the successor to, to, to the Armor Titan. I can tell. I mean, just the way that the way it's setting up. Oh, I was. Oh, he was thinking about when, when they were younger. Berto, himself, Annie. Oh man. <laughs> He's <laughs> getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they are just like, yeah! <laughs> nah, it's just leave him. <laughs> this is one night. Oh, I think they got the girl doing it now, too. Don't tell me she got drunk. <laughs> oh, that's his brother. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so, man. I think he's gonna be the one to inherit the armor time. Anata was to show you a conomama yoro yo kesho sriba. Gabi no jimmy wa nizu nanasai. Mm. Campo shagiki no matoni naranaki about this. Anata, sorry, they in this cup. 
He's asking the real questions right now. お前<笑> Information available for public disclosure. Eldian Arban. These Arbans are used to differentiate the Eldian devils from the other races. Eldians of higher classes may have armbands with different colors. Armband color can also vary depending on if the Eldian is in the military or a regular civilian. Okay, it is mandatory for Eldians in the Marley to wear the armband when they go outside. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I like this. Like, we're seeing, we're seeing it from the perspective of the enemy. These guys are the enemy, right? This is insane, man. I know what they're gonna do, man. They're gonna make us fall in love with all of these characters and they're gonna kill them. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they always do. And then they're gonna make us feel really bad about it because these are the bad guys, kinda, right? But they've got families and loved ones. Oh no. Attack the Titan, you're doing it again. Look, see, this guy who murdered so many people has got a grandmother, has got a grandfather. Look at this, man. Oh gosh. Does Rainer have anybody? So even he's got He's got a mom too. Damn.その国でも長いこと前線で残業掘ってるとこうなっちまうらしい。Oh wow. That's assholes. PTSD isn't something. Daishoubですよ。きっと良くなりますよ。もうあなたは戦わなくていいんですから。狙った通り。Okay, if I was her parents, I would be terrified to hear the story. I'll play. Wait, what happened? Someone shot at you? Island devils. But see, Rainer, you know that they're not devils. Shimanoakumakaranigirunoyatodatandaro. Yes, I can talk about it. Okay. Really? Okay. 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 さし出した芋は半分には到底満たないものだった。やつらに譲り合う精神などないからな。本当にどうしようもない そこに俺たちもいた。そこにいた日々はまさに地獄だった。いろんな奴らって何？ 
Oh. Because he called them people. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I had to rewatch that scene. Wait, there was a guy staying on a roof and he just jumped. この部屋に集合なんて。マーレグム人はこの部屋にはいない。お茶ぐらいたまにはいいだろう。ほう。さて、先の戦いで通常兵器が巨人兵器を上回る未来がより明確に知れ渡った。マーレが呼ばればエ
like a part of his personality was him enjoying staying there. You know, he he had friends. He became a really dependable guy and everything. But even his mom looked down and was like, "Bro, did you just call them those people, those devils people?" <laughs> you know, like she's like that's why she closed the window and everything. Like, don't let the Marleyans hear talk like that. You know? Oh man, but I, I'm I'm loving that. Like in this season, we're getting a lot more in depth you know, detail into the Eldians and the Marleyans and stuff like that. I really like that we're getting more into that lore. One thing I'm super, super, super curious about is Ymir. Because now that I think about when I when I remember, that's right, Ymir did decide to go back with them, didn't they? And that's messed up because I think they even, didn't they even tell her? They told, because I think all Ymir really wanted was to keep Krista safe, right? And I think even... Then, then they even tell you, Mira, that she would be safe, right? Like, that she would be okay. But then, like, apparently she wasn't. Because they, they had poor Ymir chained up. And see, I'm wondering... Did, see, I, I think she's dead. Because, like, the, um, the other guy... I forget his name. Paik? I think his name Peak Paik? He, I think he ate her, right? Because since... I think he, once... She, that's how you get... He got the, her memories. So I think he ate her. That's really, really messed up. Which would be ironic because apparently, I think Peak. Let me know if I'm saying his name right, guys. Peak, Peak. His his younger brother was the brown haired kid that Ymir Titan ate, right? Which would be like you know very poetic if he ate her because he's that kid's older brother. It'd be kind of weird if Ymir just died off screen and we don't know anything about it. Because, I mean, I don't know how else to interpret that scene aside from the fact that Ymir being dead. Because, I mean, how else would he have her memory? So, and again, I guess, again, guys, you know, it's all rhetorical. Don't answer me. I'm pretty sure, you know, unless that doesn't get answered. Because uh, I'm sure it will, though. I mean, like, we're just, we've barely scratched the surface of these episodes. This was like, you know, kind of like a, a R and R episode. It was a lax, calm episode from that intense first episode. But I know the next two, I want to say maybe you got into the way Attack on Titan goes. I want to say between next episode and the episode after that, things are gonna start getting spicy, which I cannot wait for. I want to see Aaron in the others. That's who I really want to see. But you know what, guys? It is getting pretty late right now. And I do got to get up a little early tomorrow for my day job. So I think I am going to end it here. If you guys like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It does help me a tremendous amount. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe? I do post Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. If you guys have any comments about this episode or about the series as a whole that are non spoilery Please go ahead and post those comments below. I love, love reading you guys' comments. And if you guys also have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me react to next, whether it be anime or whatever, go ahead and post those in the comments below as well. And I will, if it's something I haven't seen, I will take a look at it. All right, guys, until next video, I'm seeing nothing but mad love. Stay off. Awesome. Oh.